In this video, we're gonna test the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro and take it to the limit by trying out the two heaviest apps on Adobe, which are Premiere Pro and After Effects. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Abra Creative. My name is RR Abrat, and in this channel, we like to give you the tips and the tools you need to get started with your graphic design career. And the tool that we're gonna look at specifically today is the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. Now this video is gonna be very, very detailed looking into for those who are content creators, or for motion animators using the main Adobe creative apps for those which are Premiere Pro, and Adobe After Effects. Now, if you wanna watch a general overview of the M1 MacBook Pro and we answer the question, if that can be your main tool as a graphic designer, you can click the link up here where we talk about the portability, the display, the screen size, the battery, all that stuff, you can click the link right here. Now the MacBook Pro model that we have here is the base model, which is the lowest price model in the Apple store that has the M1 chip. This one in particular is 1,299 USD or US dollars. It has, it's a 13 inch retina display with an M1 chip, eight core CPU and GPU, eight gig RAM, and also 256 SSD hard drive. Now, as we go through this video, keep in mind that if you see any hangups or some struggles as these apps run on the M1 chip, keep in mind that it can only get better from there. None of these apps yet are native to the M1 chip. There's only one Adobe app that is native to the M1 chip at the time of this video, which is Lightroom. But Adobe is working hard to have their apps running native on the M1 chip. We have evidence of that. If you go to the Creative Cloud and you go over to the beta apps, we actually already have uh, Premiere Pro and After Effects, the beta running on this M1. You can go ahead and install this and be able to try out the beta apps that are native to the M1 chip or the Apple silicone chip. But the one we're gonna try out today is the regular app. So these are running on Rosetta. It's what Adobe is using so that it can run on the M1 um, Mac computers. So let's first of all try out Premiere Pro. Now you can actually see a video that I edited from scratch using Premiere Pro on this com very computer right here. I'm gonna go to open that project. If you look at a couple of videos back, I, have, I posted a video about a channel update. That video was mainly edited and rendered and exported with this very laptop, this M1 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now, I, it may not have as, as much B-roll or videos. It, really, it was really just a talking head video, but I was uh, did put some graphics on there. I even put a filter throughout the whole video. I added some sound effects and I was a, also able to add a certain effects here and there. And I actually didn't notice any struggle with Premiere Pro. This video right here that we have currently is um, a video that I edited and as you can see, even as it's playing back, it's not it's not rendered or anything. It's not it's not the actual MP4. It's playing on Premiere Pro. It's running very well. I even put a filter on top of it with some graphics. Let's go to the part where there are graphics. And as you can see there, we have some graphics on there. It's running very very smoothly. So I don't have a problem with Premiere Pro running this uh, uh, running uh, running on the. M1 MacBook Pro. I will say this though, my problem with the 13 inch MacBook Pro is the fact that it's 13 inches. It's just so small. Even if I zoom out on the timeline, it's just so much. It's hard for me if I were to go to assembly, it's hard for me to see all the assets. Uh, I just have a hard time with the screen size of 13 inches to be able to justify it and recommend it for graphic designers or even content creators. If you can shell out a couple hundred dollars more, I recommend you go ahead and get the 16 inch. If you want to wait till the native M uh, or to the M1 16 inch, you can go ahead. Or if you want to get the older one as well. Now, just in reference, um, this video was rendered on the M1 MacBook Pro. It's a 4K video. It has a Lumetri preset and it has minimal music and graphics. It's a seven minute video. Now, when I rendered this on M1 MacBook Pro, it took about 10 minutes to render. And I say that because I put this very exact Premiere profile on my 2019 MacBook Pro, which is a 16 inch. Now I admit it's kind of top of the line. You know, I, I upgraded the RAM, I upgraded the GPU, I upgraded the hard drive. The rendering on that took about two minutes. 
but this one took about 10 minutes to render um it's not that bad if you now that laptop was about three thousand dollars or maybe even more so but i just want to say that so that you can have a reference on how premiere pro runs but right now as it stands premiere pro actually runs pretty well on the m1 macbook pro um even with loading up or anything like that it, there were no struggles so i hope that uh it can help you if you're a video creator or content creator out there now the next app we're gonna run is after effects now as a disclaimer i will say this i am not a motion animator at all but we had so many people asking the comments what about after effects can you check out after effects what about after effects fine i will go ahead and run after effects but i will not be able to provide as much knowledge or detail on it because i really have no idea how to use after effects like literally before this video was the first time i ever opened it um so if you there's, there's there's probably some other people out there that can do a better job than i can but i'll just do it for you guys so i went ahead and downloaded just a template um i saw online and this is after effects i'm opening it from the very beginning is that peter mckinnon no it's not it looks like donna like donna did it donna did whatever so we have this title animation on after effects i have no idea what to do but i at least can do a playback we'll go ahead and play this it's running pretty smoothly now we're seeing some hang-ups here on some of the effects understandably i mean this is an 8 gig ram not that much gpu um and it's not native on the m1 chip so uh, you could there's going to be some hang-ups here and there especially because i know the after effects is such a heavy heavy app um but there's after effects uh i really don't know what to do i'll try typing i guess um hello okay i mean i guess i did something so uh if i could give a judgment after effects it you can but i don't recommend it um it's probably going to be hang-ups i don't know much about after effects but i do know that it's very very heavy a very heavy usage app well that's it for today guys i hope the video was a help to you do me a favor and comment below what are some other things that you want me to try out on the m1 uh, macbook computers and if you are interested in watching a video about the m1 mac mini you can click the video up here if you want to see a general overview of the m1 macbook pro you can also click the link up here thank you thank you so much for watching hope you continue and subscribe as we give out tips and tools for you graphic designers that are looking to start your graphic design career make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe thank you so much for watching have a good day peace